Welcome back, everybody. You know, going green, you may think, oh, it's going to take a lot of green to do that. It may cost you a lot. Well, being eco-conscious does not necessarily have to cost you more. It could save you money. So how about that? Flora Barron is joining us. She's the Director of Economic Development with MAC. And we want to hear about this. Good morning to you, Flora. Good morning, I'm excited to be here. You know, for a lot of people, just paying the bills alone is rough, right? So to add, hey, let's also save the planet as best as we can, just is a lot to think about and deal with. So how can you help us save money while also saving the planet? Let's talk about this. I think we really have an exciting opportunity here in the state of California. One way we can save money by going green is purchasing a plug-in hybrid or battery electric vehicle I think a lot of people are turned off of these purchases because of the purchase price of these vehicles, but the state of California has a number of different incentives and rebates that we can be that we can use towards the purchase of these vehicles to low, lower the purchase costs. On top of that, we know that just by driving a clean vehicle, we're going to save money over the lifetime of that vehicle. We don't have to pay for regular oil changes. And with the increasing cost of gasoline, it's definitely enticing um, to trade in your gasoline powered vehicle for a cleaner vehicle. Um, comparatively, you could be spending closer to $400 a year. On average, most of us are spending around $4,000 a year uh, for gasoline. Yeah, I will um, tell you, Flora, just a personal note here. My husband had a truck that he had to drive uh, to L.A. for work a lot, and it was costing so much in gas. So we sw switched and got an electric car, and everyone's like, ooh, you're so fancy now. Uh, but it was really to save money. I mean, we haven't had to obviously get it oil changed, charging it. You just plug it into the same outlet that you plug your toaster into. To. Uh, so tell us about the rebates, because I'm curious about that. Can you get a lot of money back if you purchase a car right now, or are those rebates kind of a thing of the past? Well, so MAC launched an electric vehicle access program uh, just last year, at the end of last year, and our program offers a number of different things to help make these purchases more affordable. The first being access to lower interest loans. So individuals with credit scores as low as 550 may qualify for a loan with an interest rate of 3.99%. And then we, if you apply and enroll in our program between now and December 1st, you may be eligible for up to $11,000 of incentives and rebates that can be applied towards the purchase of a plug-in hybrid or battery electric vehicle. So that's $11,000 wow. towards the purchase as down payment assistance for these vehicles. And lastly, our program does more than just reduce the costs of purchasing these vehicles. We know that some may have questions about being a clean vehicle owner, how to maintain them, how to choose the right vehicle, where and how to plug in the vehicle. Mm -hmm. We answer those questions and more, in addition to providing financial coaching so people are prepared for the loan application and repayment process. Yeah, I think a lot of that uh, might feel intimidating for people. Ah, where's these outlets? I don't know how to plug it in or where to go. Uh, don't can't drive around looking for that. Um, but right now with the way the cost of gas is, I mean, it's nearing, what, $5 a gallon. Uh, you know, this may be just the more economic choice. We know it does help the planet a little bit, too. Uh, so also, let's talk about this, Flora. We're supposed to recycle, reduce, reuse, uh, and reusing can save you a lot of money. So what do you like to tell people what's a good thing for all of us to keep in mind i know for me personally i have a number of items in my home that are gently worn or used or i haven't even opened the box that's everything from appliances to clothing to books and my suggestion as a nonprofit professional is to donate those items there are quite a few people who are in need of work clothing or in need of appliances for their first homes. And there are a number of nonprofits in the area that would accept those donations and put them to good use. So that's one non-traditional way of recycling that many of us don't think of. The other way that we all uh, know that we can reduce our energy costs is just by turning off our appliances, unplugging our appliances. Many don't know that MAC offers a weatherization program. So if you're income eligible and you reside in a certain zip code, you would qualify for our weatherization services. We'll actually send in staff into your home to conduct a free energy audit. We'll identify ways to make your home more energy efficient, and then we will update your home and swap out your appliances with more energy efficient ones. Ah. That way you're saving a lot of money on your utilities bills. And again, uh, we're encouraging reduced energy usage. Flora, how are you guys able to do this? Tell us a little bit about MAC. 
Well, we were started in 1965 out of a garage. Uh, <laughs> like most companies or ideas, anything born out of a garage seems to be a powerful one. <laughs> yeah. um, but today we have 36 sites throughout the county of San Diego. Uh, we have over $48 million that we're able to invest in under-resourced communities. And our services really, we offer a, lot, a wide range, everything from free childcare to affordable housing. Wow. Um, obviously, obviously, we have this electric vehicle access program that's intended to increase EV adoption in low to moderate income communities. So we offer quite a lot. Um, I feel like we are the best kept secret in San Diego, yeah. but please visit our website at www.macproject.org www just to learn about all the things that we can offer to you and your family. You are not kidding, Flora. I went to your website, I was like, whoa, they do so many things and to have 36 sites here locally, that's awesome. Thank you very much for explaining it. Macproject.org is the place to go. Good to see you this morning. Thank you.